Hello, everyone. So let's start with a question. If you were to guess, what percentage of the cells in your body are human? 100%, right? Well, the answer is actually closer to 50. The other 50% of the cells in your body belong to bacteria, mainly in your gut, which we like to call your microbiome. Now, before you reach for the Lysol, you should know that the vast majority of these bacteria are good for you. In fact, a good, healthy microbiome can protect you from diseases like obesity, asthma, and even anxiety and depression. But how could a bacteria in your gut affect your liver, your lungs, or even your brain? Well, to answer that question, let's think about some things we know affect our health. Most of us know that the way our body works is encoded in our DNA. What we might not think about as often is that the way that DNA is wrapped and folded inside of our cells can make a huge difference in how it's used. For example, the cells in your heart and in your brain have exactly the same DNA instructions, but they look and behave very differently. Why? Well, each of those different cell types needs different parts of the DNA. So when your brain cell goes to wrap its DNA, it will wrap the stuff it doesn't need very tightly, but uh, leave the stuff it does need very loosely wrapped so that it's open and accessible. Your heart cells will do the same thing, but with different parts of the DNA. Thus, different patterns in DNA folding can actually change which cell types you get out at the end. And this doesn't just apply to cell types. In fact, we know that your environment and your experiences can change the way your DNA folds and thus how your body functions. So we thought, what if your bacteria could be doing the same thing? Well, we know that when you eat a diet full of fiber and vegetables, you know, healthy stuff, the bacteria in your gut produce something called short chain fatty acids, which I could then measure in your blood and even inside your cells. We developed a method to look at differences in DNA folding and using that method, I found that these short chain fatty acids can actually change the way your DNA folds. This is crazy because it takes the stuff you eat and then down into the bacteria in your gut and out into your blood, into your cells, and onto your very own DNA. I'm currently working to use this information to see how your bacteria can have long-term effects on your health in the hopes that we may be able to use this bacteria someday to treat disease. Thank you.